It's May 19th, 1997, and this is episode 88 of WCW Monday Nitro. Tonight's Nitro is another shortened broadcast at only one hour. Commentary for tonight's show is Tony Schiavone, Larry Zabisco, and Bobby the Brain Heenan. Nitro opens with Ric Flair heading out to speak with Mean Gene on the ramp. Flair cuts a promo on his win last night saying that after pushing wrestling to the side, he now knows that he wants back in. The NWO's music hits and Six walks out alone. Six says that last night Flair and his team beat no one because the wrong guy was in the ring. Six then says that after being in the ring with Flair last night, he knows he can take him one on one. And if Flair has the guts, he wants a match tonight. Flair and Six then get into an argument and Flair chases after Six. Hey, Six is running out of here. Now moving to the first match of the night, and it's for the WCW television title. The new television champion, Steven Regal, is defending against Prince Ikea. Trying to regain that, going to have a tough time. Regal right here on this television program, a few months. He beat Regal last Drop not it. too long ago. He's been not too long ago, but Regal came out of that. Oh. And on the spine at that time. Picks him up. Oh. Reverse shoot master does it. He's got him hooked. The Regal stretch. Steven Regal retains the television title with the Regal Stretch. Next up, Masahiro Chono, the first NWO international member, is taking on David Taylor. Outlets, two important notes, Hill. Wow, a major star will be making his debut. And it must be me. Is that it? You've debuted repeatedly. Whoa, how's it been received in Japan? International member of the New World Order, when he took to the wall with the NWO. Well, he's definitely one of the cruelest of the Jets. What Mr. Fitz thinks about his associations last night. Mike, I know you were there. That was before that hometown crowd in Charlotte. Very memorable. You know what amazed me here? The emotion of that event took over, you know, and I found out the woman in the third row. Masahiro Chono wins the match with an STF. Next, we head onto the ramp with Mean Gene, standing by with Sonny Ono. Sonny Ono says that last night he showed the world that he can make a champion, but he can also destroy them. Referring to him betraying the Ultimate Dragon last night, costing him the television title. He then says that Masahiro Chono has a debt to pay to him and to New Japan Pro Wrestling. And next week, Sonny has an opponent lined up for Chono. Chono wants to know who his opponent will be, and Sonny says he's your worst nightmare. Next, we head to a backstage segment with JJ Dillon. JJ Dillon is announcing that Nick Patrick is being reinstated as a WCW referee. Next up, Michael Wall Street is taking on Scotty Riggs. Being a part of WCW Snipe, as Diamond Dallas Page completely ruled the ring. Some of the, I guess, great things about a WCW pay per view for the last night. No, I was very impressed with Diamond Dallas. What was going on? Baby Diamond Dallas meant business. Randy, be careful of this man. He means business. So what do you want? And he is right on top of things. He is right in the face. Ring. Well, you know, Tony, oh, for why now. shouldn't you break rules? Your opponent usually breaks the rules. Wall Street pulls out a foreign object, and Nick Patrick stops him. Sort of object in his pocket, and Nick Patrick, he is holding on to Wall Street. Scotty Riggs, Rob, and Nick Patrick kicking the leg, and what? Scotty Riggs wins the match with a sunset flip. I can tell you right now, WCW is back stronger than... Next up, Mean Gene is on the ramp and introduces Mark Martin and Ric Flair to the ramp. Martin announces that the car on the ramp is to be won in a Valvoline competition. Just thought I'd throw this in there. Now moving to tag team action, Jeff Jarrett and Steve Mongo McMichael with Deborah are taking on the Steiner brothers. Mike for the Steiners, Jeff Jarrett, the US title match, Steve Mongo McMichael and Rich. It's a great matchup, Larry. I mean, it's not like he just, anybody who wrestles in a... Look at this power! Look at the power, Scott Steiner! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Goes. Steiner, better than that oh, one! Mike! Master the super! Floating out of the three point stance! Okay. Oh. oh my goodness! And Mongo don't see him! And reversal! Both big men fall down! Jarrett brings the Halliburton into the ring to nail Rick Steiner, but Kevin Green runs in. Distracted, Jarrett is pulled out of the ring by Scott Steiner, and Green grabs the Halliburton and hits Mongo with it giving the victory to the Steiner Brothers. After the match, Mongo heads backstage looking for Kevin Green. Mongo attacks Green in the locker room, 
but they're soon separated by WCW security. It's now time for tonight's main event. The WCW Cruiserweight Champion 6 is taking on Ric Flair in a non-title match. In singles competition, where he made his name. Ace, boom, that's it. It's always backhand chop. That's a show himself, North Carolina. Oh boy. The match is cut short when Scott Hall and Kevin Nash head out and interfere in the match. Dressing room, the horsemen, every one of them escorted from the big Jerry went with them. They all were escorted. Look at six, look at six. Rick Flair did not look like this last. After the attack, Nash grabs the microphone. Nash says that it's no longer about anything but putting Flair and Piper out of business. Hall says that we'll need to call the Smithsonian and tell them that we have one half of the dinosaur exhibit coming in. And Piper is next. After a commercial break, Eric Bischoff is heading out to the ring. Bischoff says that last week he really wanted to speak with Sting and says that he's tried many different methods to find Sting. He says this by keeping an eye on the rafters. Bischoff says that Sting will never face Hollywood Hogan. Bischoff then says that he wishes Sting was here tonight, because he would snap the pain off his face. Sting then emerges from the ring behind Bischoff. He then grabs Bischoff and hits him with a scorpion death drop. This would end Nitro. Before we finish, please comment on your favourite part of the show. Mine was Sting hitting Bischoff with the Scorpion Death Drop. Get him! Oh! Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If not, a thumbs down. And I'll see you on the next one.